I'm going to show you how to remove the bones and we're going to create a CT angiogram of the head without the bones. So first you load your data set and then we're going to go to segment editor. We're going to add a segment. Thresholding. Let's threshold it to uh, 300. The reason I choose 300 is because I want to make sure I want to uh, not, I don't want to include the superior sagittal sinus because that's going to have contrast. So let me just show you here. Okay, superior sagittal sinus. And this, if it's too low, it will include the superior sagittal sinus. So we want to make it, let's say 300. We're going to apply. So now we have this mask. I'm sorry, uh, we have this segment. I'm going to make this segment bigger because there's a little bit of bone on the inside. So let's make it, we're gonna grow it by one millimeter. Okay, so now this barely cuts off the inside of the inner table. So now that we have that, I'm going to go to this function right here, wrap solidify. So wrap solidify is going to uh, take only the brain and remove the bone. So we're going to do the largest cavity, split cavity, make this 30. We're going to uh, overwrite the segment is fine. So let's now apply. Okay, so you can see it working down here. You can see it working right here. Um, it's going to take sometimes five minutes, sometimes 10 minutes. So I'm just going to wait here and then we're going to speed up the film. So after a few minutes, you will have the green on the brain and not on the skull or anything else. So now we are going to use this function here where the brain is on the black. It's called masking. We're going to fill the outside negative 1,000. We're going to call it label new volume is brain. No skull. Fill outside negative a thousand. Brain no skull. Apply. So now the skull has disappeared. If you turn off the eye, you will see just the brain. You can go up here to window level. When you hit window level, though, it's going to take you back to the original data. So you have to switch over to brain no skull as the source volume. So source volume brain no skull. And then you can window level here. And so you can see that there is no, no skull left. Okay, so now we're going to do a segmentation of this. Let's turn off the green. Let's add one that is red artery. And we're gonna just do a threshold of 60 and then the top. Let's uh, make sure that that is good enough. Apply. So I show 3D, hit the middle button to center it, and let's make this bigger. Use your mouse to scroll. All right, so basically we do not have any skull left. We just have the vessels. So something like this is probably okay. Uh, they may want to have a few more vessels. So let's go back to segment editor. Let's remove that, sorry. 
uh, and we can adjust the amount of redness. We can make this 55, apply. That makes it a little bit more, more vessels. And let's see, let's just see what 50 looks like. Okay, I think that they want little, a few more vessels like this. So now let's clean it up a little bit. Let's take away the islands. So hit this button that looks like islands, remove small islands and apply. And that is it. We have all of the veins of the skull, superior sagittal sinus. We have the vessels here. We have the in, uh, MCA, ACA vessels. And that's what they want. The reason is they want to plan surgery and they want to make sure they're not gonna hit one of these big vessels. And that's it. And then you just save and then just save it to wherever you want to save it to. Uh, you're gonna have instructions on that and that's it. Thanks a lot.